Hi, Dad. Hi, Rose. What are you up to? Well, this looks beautiful. Nothing yet. I'm trying to finish that piece. Where is this piece? This is the uh, coast of California. Wow. I saw it in a magazine. I saw this uh, oh, photograph I love it. and then I tried to... Uh, is it not done yet? Well, I still, yeah, it's not done perfectly. I got a final touches here and there, I think. Uh, yeah, I guess I got to work on that area a little bit here. And I love it. It's beautiful. Yeah, I see. like the light on the right. Thank you, Habibi. It's beautiful. All right, Dad, why don't you give us a little tour of your studio? You How make, about it? You're making a video now? We're making a video. What? <laughs> a quick little video. Okay. Give us a little tour. So let's talk about your paintings. I know you have a lot of paintings, and I know you have your own philosophy about paint. So, expensive paint, what kind of paint, what's your, what's the situation? Well, unless, unless you're doing like a, a museum type art, mm -hmm. you don't really have to buy expensive paint. Okay. And, uh, I mean, you could do good paintings with not so expensive paint. That's my philosophy and uh, my tip. Okay. So, for those trying to learn how to paint, I mean... It doesn't mean if you buy expensive paint, you're going to have beautiful paintings. Right. That's exactly, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, that makes a lot so of sense. Don't go for expensive paint, reasonably priced, reasonably priced paint Okay. do the job. Okay, that's a good tip. Because and sometimes you go find paint and they're so expensive and you don't, nobody wants to spend that much money. This, uh, yeah, this encouraged by, uh, by the price of paint. Okay. Buy any paint and start painting. Okay, that's I like it. Tip. That's a good one. Um, all right, let's keep going here. What do we have over on this side? Well, that's my uh, grandson, Raymond. Oh. Uh, he started this piece about uh, 10 days he's ago. He's getting really good yeah, at that. He's, he's, he's doing okay. And this is a photo that you took? Yeah, this is a photograph. That of you the, took? Uh, I believe La Jolla. Oh, beautiful. Down in that area. In, uh, he's doing actually a really good job. Yeah, he's doing I'm okay. sure with your guidance. He's doing okay. I'm on the other side, I've got the other son. Okay. Son Gabriel. All right, let's take a look. It's right there. All right. Oh, lots that. of other. I believe this is from. Uh, oh. A photograph oh. from some of my cruises with your mom. Wow. In the Caribbean somewhere, so. Uh, that looks I'll great. That, that picture. Good job, Gabriel. Gabriel's eight, by the way. Yeah, Gabriel. All right. Eight. Um, what else do we have here? You have some books. Yeah. Here's some of your books. Art books. How do you use books? I know with me books. in cooking, I kind of browse and I get inspiration. Well, anytime you, yeah, that's where you get your, uh, your uh, sort of uh, everything you need to know about art is right there. So you look From at the them masters. sometimes, yeah. time to time. These are the books of the masters? Oh, okay. Renaissance I like and that. Before. And so what? Some recent. Uh, uh, this one's not recent, right? No, I, this one this is, is an old that's piece. An old piece from. Uh, I believe it was a cover for a book, I believe. Really? Back in Montreal, yeah. Wow, that that's really cool. Yeah, that Do you nice. remember what kind of book or anything uh, about it? Phone directory, I believe. Really? Yeah. No way. Yeah. That's crazy. And this is a photograph that I've taken in Fairhaven, Massachusetts. And okay. I've done this piece uh, probably a couple of weeks ago. Oh, I love it. I what about this one over here? This is also another Probably I got it from a magazine. It's this one? Majestic Mountain. Oh wow. Somewhere. It's beautiful. Yeah, I take photographs it looks from magical. magazines from my own cool. visits wherever I am and make it into art. Yeah, this is that piece is uh, Seven Lakes in Santee, California. Oh wow. Yeah. Cool. Seven Lakes. Okay. Yeah. You all don't want to see me. The old, oh. uh, all paintings that I've done over the years, all cataloged here. Titled nice. the numbers and everything. The same okay. Thing on that then side. you have more over here. Same thing on wow. that side. A lot of paintings. That's, these are very old pieces. And which ones? These yeah. over here. Yeah. This. Okay. Emma Plex, which is enamel on plexiglass. That's what I called when I started uh, doing the symbolism painting back in. 
late uh, 80s, early 90s. Okay. All these here. So you have them wrapped up. Yeah. This one's really nice, Dad. What is this? And this is, I believe, in Dartmouth, Massachusetts. Oh, really? Do you yes. write on the back of it? Like, yeah, could you check? Yeah, most of them have. Do you think this is written on the back or no? Uh, maybe not on the back, but okay. I've got it on the web and then I know. On I your website? The place, yeah. Okay, it's Dartmouth. really nice. Yeah. I love that one. This what about is a this one? One from one of the hikes we've done here recently in the last month. It looks so. kind of abstract. This well, one well, a this little bit. The, this is yeah. Well, Did you do that on purpose? Exactly. Okay. Uh, you do sometimes exaggerate the coloring oh, okay. with any piece, but you gotta balance it. You know, you can't just make it too blue here and forget about this side and so forth. So you gotta balance the colors and okay. the subject matter. Okay. And that's also another piece. Let's of one see of the this hikes. one. Oh wow! Area, of course, and then I, you know, it's it makes me I could tell here, you know. It's, it looks a little bit textured. Bit texture and sandy. I, I did some sand here and stuff, so to give it. Do you add like cement to the paint afterwards, or look. do you add the well, cement? During the process, you know, okay. uh, you can't. You do. You gotta add at certain time whatever you're doing at certain time of the piece. Of okay. Doing the piece. Okay. And these are some I love that other one. pieces and uh, lots of other pieces. I've got about probably 350 pieces right here. Wow. <gasps> yeah, when you count. That's so them. cool. That's so many, Dad. On the other side, so. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I have a quick question before we end the video. Okay. That one over there, it looks like lilies. an old piece. No, not the lilies. The one this next one? to it. Yeah, this, this one is, looks really this old. Is, I was experimenting with the texture. Oh. When I was. This is one. This is the first piece, as a matter of fact, done on canvas, I think. Wow. And uh, a piece of wood behind it. Okay. But yeah, this is how I started doing. What year is that? 1990. Probably 89, okay. Something like yeah, that. that's. And I kept it. Yeah. Cool. So wow. this is, I, you know, I was trying to see how it works, you know, with how the it looks different, uh, different, uh, you know, yeah, uh, textures and stuff. Paint, different. Wow. I use the epoxy. I use different kind to make the circles and cool. So this is the first piece. And then that's why I'm keeping it. Oh yeah. That's a memory. And I've done about maybe 300 pieces of after just, that based of, on that, on that experiment. This yeah. one is a favorite of mine, but it's hard to see over there. Yeah, it's hard to see, and that's another piece. There are so many pieces around here. Wow. Okay, this okay. was cool. I hope you all Thank enjoyed you watching it, and thanks, Dad, Thank for you. giving us a tour. It was great. Bye. Bye.